In this video, let's learn about the use dispatch hook, which is used to dispatch an action with React Redux. Again, this is pretty simple. First, we are going to import use dispatch from React Redux. Next, in the component, we call this hook. The use dispatch hook returns a reference to the dispatch function from the Redux store. Let's save that reference in a variable called dispatch. This variable can now be used to dispatch actions as needed. For our button, let's now add a click handler. On click, an arrow function dispatch by cake. Make sure to import the action creator at the top. And that is all there is to it. If you now save the file, go back to the browser, click on the button, the count should still decrement. So our hooks cake container works as expected. Now I understand if you feel using hooks is way simpler than using the connect function. But there are a few usage warnings when using React Redux with hooks. But it all depends on the nesting of components in your application and how you write your selector functions. So I will leave this for you to explore and understand. In the React Redux documentation, there is a section that says usage warnings. So do make sure you go through that. If you're okay with using the connect HOC, by all means continue to do that. But this is pretty much the fundamentals of React Redux with hooks. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.